And more good news for Tesla, maybe bad news for the traditional automakers. California is going to ban gas cars, new gas cars. I don't know if you saw this story. 2035. Ban. 2035. No more gas cars. Huh. It's not that far away, is it? Not really, no. It's good so, news for all the EV manufacturers. If I'm right? Tesla and I see this, I'm like, oh, you want to invest in my company mm -hmm. now. Remember that stock you said was overpriced? Yeah. Now the government's going to force you to buy one of my cars. Of course, by that point in time, everybody's going to have a play in electric vehicles. It's already happening right now. Many automakers, even traditional automakers that did gas cars are saying, no, 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 our fleet's going to be 50% electric by, in five years or 80% electric in 10 years or something like this. So it's actually not as crazy as it sounds. It's just, I think when you see it and it becomes definitive and the governor, whoever is responsible, I believe it's the governor over here, California Governor Gavin Newsom announced this week his state will ban the sale of new gasoline and diesel vehicles effective 2035. The latest sign that the days of the internal combustion engine might be numbered. Mm. So when you see it official like that, Will, you realize, oh, it is the future. It is happening. Mm -hmm. The thing is happening, and maybe it's happening faster than some had imagined. Like I said, I think the market was going to do this anyways. This may expedite the process for automakers to just prepare themselves to move away particularly with the bigger vehicles as well. You know, they mentioned diesel in there. Trucks, work vehicles. There's so many things that got to go electric by oh, 2035. Yeah. And California is a huge state, big population, lots of cash, lots of new car purchases. So it could set the trend. Uh -huh. Now, there could be some pushback as well. That's important to note. California is like has this weird situation where they have special treatment over environmental uh, environmental standards for automobiles that it's on the state level instead of the, the national level so there could be pushback on that from the actual national side of things yeah however uh like i said i don't think it it's happening in other places as well the uh, european union is capping the amount of carbon emission uh to 95 grams per kilometer on carbon dioxide emissions and that takes effect next year so they're kind of everybody's making moves to encourage automakers and individuals to make this transition. Even China has been moving through new regulation to suppress greenhouse gas. Even China. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I think it sounds like a shock when you read it, but it feels like the market was doing that anyways. Yeah, and eventually gas power will be kind of niche. I mean, I love to hear like a rumble of an engine. Do ya? Yeah. Yeah. Like a Brrr. Mustang or something, you yeah. know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But at the end of the day, I mean, the environment is more important. Yeah, well, it's also just... Uh, and, and this is why I think the last story matters, the one before this. So much of the rumble of the engine was associated with performance. Yes. And it was, yes. it was okay, I can understand it's that things uh, gu fierce, guzzling you know? gas yeah. because it's at the peak performance. Yep. Brrr, brrr. I'm going to go right now, and that's what's required. And when the EVs came out, and actually proved to be better performers as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying better performers in every sense, because around a track, and there's different situations in which a gas-powered vehicle, top speed being one of them, still. Uh, however, when they started putting these crazy performance numbers, they even got the supercar guys inter interested. Uh -huh. They started thinking about part electric vehicles, and then fully electric vehicles yep. for, from a performance perspective. So you got to give... Elon some credit on that for not giving up on a performance thing mm -hmm. and only doing the efficient one because you're right there is a kind of there's a thing where the feel of the engine the rumble well of that it, and we can't do anything know. about that you know yeah. we're gonna get a taste of it when, when once we start driving the Taycan when it shows up uh -huh. we're gonna get a taste for what it's like to not have that feel and it's gonna be something missing no doubt mm -hmm. it's gonna be something missing the question is how important is that piece and and should that piece be reserved for kind of special cars, weekend drivers, things like this. Mm -hmm. That's that specialness of right. you know taking it to the track. Yeah, running know. a running an internal combustion. Yeah. We'll we'll see what takes place. But electric is not perfect either, by the way. Well, mm -hmm. these batteries and all the minerals and, and all the mining that has to take you know, nothing yep. is free out here. Nope. Nothing is perfect out here. Nope.